Part two, chapter twenty six of Short History of the Christian Church by John Fletcher Hurst. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter twenty six The Jewish Philosophy. The development of Jewish speculation was contemporaneous with the Arabic, being confined to the eleventh and twelfth centuries it was the old neoplatonism of alexandria coming to life again and reappearing with intense vigour in spain there was no special attachment to the old testament but a gathering into one of the various threads of plato and other greek thinkers and their interweaving with jewish theology the result was a heterogeneous theology made up of the old testament scriptures and the philosophical systems but with a warm sympathy with Mohammedanism. It was of so complex a nature that neither Moses, Plato, nor Mohammed would have recognized himself in any one of its fundamental principles. Grammatical exegesis was one of the main departments of Jewish philosophy. The leading representatives were Solomon Isaaci of Troyes, Aben Ezra of Toledo, and the three Kamehi of Narbonne these men flourished between a d ten seventy five and twelve thirty two there was nothing brilliant in the achievements of any of them or of those who imitated them but their critical tastes and the application of exact methods to the expounding of the scriptures were of great influence upon christian scholars there is reason to suppose that this school of jewish thinkers though far removed from the great centres of christian learning were influential on the later rise of humanism and the general awakening of a taste for the philological examination of the scriptural languages philosophical speculation was the other wing of the jewish eagle in the medieval period here the jewish thinker dwelt with greatest pleasure his field was broad all systems and lands were combined christianity greek philosophy and mohammedanism were a confused molten mass. These elements produced the later Kabbalism. Jehuda Levi of Andalusia, died 1153, had less sympathy with other systems than with the Jewish. His Book of Kosi was a romance. It represents a king of the Kosarians and a rabbi, Isaac Sanger, who conduct a dialogue. The outcome is a vindication of the Jewish religion, it is one of the ablest defenses of Judaism ever written. It has been translated into several languages, and has been circulated in modern times. Its author was the greatest Jewish poet of the Middle Ages, and father-in-law of the greatest grammarian, Aben Ezra. Jehuda Levi was at once a poet, philosopher, and scholar. Maimonides was the most gifted Jew of the whole medieval period he stands related to jewish speculation as averhoes does to arabic each supreme in his own field there was a close bond of sympathy between them the jew was a disciple of the arab maimonides was born in eleven thirty five in cordova he mastered the greek and arabic systems of philosophy and became an industrious author and profound thinker in many fields besides his devotion to philosophy he was skilled in mathematics astronomy medicine and talmudic lore he was an earnest and serious moral and religious character his works were very numerous in both arabic and hebrew but his most influential book was of popular character the guide to the perplexed it was a well-planned attempt to reconcile jewish theology and heathen philosophy it has exercised a powerful influence on that liberal development of Judaism which has had such scope in modern times. End of chapter 26